Hello everyone, first of all, thanks for being here in my YouTube channel. Let's talk about electric shock when person comes in contact with the live wire or phase wire in the electrical power supply, the person may feel a shock in terms of uh, nervousness, mild or severe. Sometimes uh, it may cause uh, unconsciousness and death is called as electric shock. As you can see the diagram, the person is operating drilling machine. Drilling machine is uh, uh, switched over here and uh, the drilling machine plug is uh, broken, there is no uh, terminal. If you switch on the power supply for the drilling machine, if he touches the body of the uh, drilling machine, so there is no art terminal, so definitely he may uh, get shock. Uh, so the current will be flowing uh, via his body to the ground. We'll discuss in detail, human body can withstand less than 20 milliampere with a short interval of time, less than 25 milliseconds. If suppose time increases, definitely he may get uh, more damage to the uh, body parts or uh, more uh, shock uh, to the body. Right. We will discuss in general effects of electric current on the body, how exactly body will react when current is passes through it. Right? 1 milliamps nothing will be happening and 5 milliamps uh, disturbance occur. Uh, the person may feel uh, shock but not painful. 6 to 25 milliamps for women, painful shock, uh, she may lose uh, muscular control. And 9 to 30 milliamps, same uh, painful shock, uh, uh, he may lose uh, muscular uh, control. So, 50 to 150 milliamps, uh, extremely painful shock. Respiratory arrest, breathing stops sometimes. Severe uh, muscle, muscle contraction. So it depends upon current, keep it in your mind. It is not depends upon voltage. Okay. And uh, 1000 to 4300 milliamps, uh, definitely uh, ventricular uh, uh, fibrillation, heart pumping action, not uh, rhythmic occur, muscle contract, nerve damage occurs, death uh, may cause. Right. And 10,000 milliamps, uh, cardiac arrest. Severe burns occur, death is possible. Right? Don't feel bad, I have collected photos for the reference. Uh, uh, please aware of electric power supply and read the instructions and then use uh, safety precautions. We will discuss precaution against electric shock. Very important for all. Uh, first one, earthing must be done properly. If the person touches the body of the equipment, you should not get shock. Broken switches must be eliminated and uh, while repairing, uh, while maintaining the electrical switches, circuits and uh, electrical appliances, you must switch off the main uh, power supply and always use uh, well uh, installed uh, tools and ISO certified tools, standard tools and do not touch with the uh, wet hands while operating the electrical appliances and use rubber gloves and plastic gloves uh, while operating. Read the instruction properly while operating the machine or equipment and uh, use uh, uh, standard ISO certified uh, fuse and MCBs in your home. Next, we will discuss earthing. Earthing is a first safety measure for the electrical appliances. If you touch the body of the equipment, uh, for example, CPU or other electrical appliances, sometimes you may get shock, right? So, so that is improper earthing. You must do proper earthing for human safety as well as equipment safety. Earthing is defined as uh, connecting the body of the equipment, general mass of the earth to maintain zero potential with a low resistance. It is called as earthing, right? So, as you can see the diagram over here, there is an earth pit and an earth electrode is present. So, later we will discuss in detail. Doubt session related to earthing. This one is an earth terminal, okay? And this one is a phase and neutral. So, why the earth terminal is big compared to this phase and neutral? Because first is safety. Whatever you are inserting the plug into the socket, first uh, uh, that big pin will insert after that phase and neutral. First, body of the equipment uh, must be earthed after that phase and neutral will pass through the electrical uh, uh, equipment or electrical appliances. So, that is why the earth pin is uh, big uh, for safety. We will see a uh, difference between neutral ground and earth. See here, earthing is connected to body of the equipment. If you touch the body of the equipment, I will not get shock. Right? So, neutral and ground, uh, it provides a continuous path for the electricity. Right? But earthing and then ground, 90% uh, uh, of similarity will be there. But earthing, zero potential, but grounding, there is no zero potential. And uh, earthing, resistivity is less, but uh, uh, grounding, resistivity will not be a, uh, less. This is earth wire in the transmission lines. So, center one is earth wire. We will discuss in detail earthing and types of earthing. Uh, earthing is mainly for uh, human safety as well as uh, equipment safety. Right. Next, types of earthing, based on the earth electrode, whatever we are inserting into the earth, one is plate earthing, other one is pipe earthing. These two are made up of uh, galvanized iron or uh, copper. I have taken some photos for understanding. There is an earth electrode, whatever we are inserting into the uh, earth pit, and this is earth wire. 
and this is earth chamber for maintenance purpose and then uh, this is a cover uh, for uh, uh, closing this uh, earth chamber. We will discuss types of earthing in detail. Based on the earth electrode, we differentiated one is plate earthing and other one is uh, pipe earthing, right? So it looks like a pipe and then this one is a plate, right? So the dimensions are uh, 60 centimeter and 60 centimeter and uh, 3.8 millimeter for copper electrode and similarly here uh, 6.5 millimeter for uh, galvanized iron right 60 here and 60 here length and then uh, width thickness is uh, 3.8 millimeter for copper 6.5 uh, thickness is for galvanized iron next is a pipe or thing 2 meter long and uh, the diameter is uh, 38 millimeter for uh, copper and uh, 2 meter uh, long and uh, 55 millimeter for uh, galvanized iron. So, uh, these uh, dimensions will vary based on the load and then based on the current requirement, right? First, I will discuss plate earthing. After that, I will discuss pipe earthing because similar will be there working is same, only electrode is different, right? So, here plate electrode is placed vertically uh, down into the earth, buried from the ground level 2 to 3 meter, right? And uh, layer by layer, uh, charcoal and salt is placed 10 centimeter. This is 15 centimeter approximately. So, common salt and uh, charcoal is placed because to increase the conductivity of the soil and in, uh, decrease the resistance of the soil. So, salt is a good solvent, charcoal is a good absorbent, right? And next, there is a funnel is uh, for pouring the water in the summer season because uh, if suppose water enter into the earth chamber, what happens? Uh, salt will be there, charcoal will be there. So, water is a uh, salt water is a good conductor of heat and uh, electricity, already we know, right? Uh, so, that's why the funnel is for pouring the water in the summer season. Next, there is earth wire for external connection for the electrical appliances or electrical equipment. This is conduit uh, pipe because of uh, via of earth wire, right? Earth resistance must be less than 5 ohm uh, uh, based on uh, IEC standard. Next, we will see pipe earthing. Pipe is placed vertically down into the earth uh, about uh, 2 meter from the ground level, right? And uh, layer by layer charcoal salt is placed because to increase the conductivity of the soil and uh, reducing the resistance of the soil. There is a funnel is for pouring the water in the summer season. If suppose water is pouring here, so water content will be there means definitely conductivity increases. So, uh, resistance will be decreases. See why? Because this uh, common salt, charcoal or water here, if it is uh, resistance uh, decreases, whatever the uh, fault current directly goes to earth, right? If it is resistance uh, increases, fault current will not go directly to the earth uh, and uh, if you touch the body of the equipment, you may get shock, right? That's why the charcoal, salt and then funnel for pouring the water they placed, right? Next, there is a earth wire. Earth wire is for uh, connecting the electrical appliances and uh, conduit pipe is for uh, OIA of uh, earth wire. Here, there is a 12 mm holes because of uh, electrode must be more contact with soil inside as well as outside. See here, Pipe earthing is more efficient compared to a plate earthing because it is in more depth and whatever the short circuit current, fault current directly goes to earth and then maintenance free. So keep it in your mind, earth resistance must be less than 5 ohm, okay? Uh, why? Because if suppose resistance increases, uh, whatever the fault current, uh, it will not go directly into the earth, right? So that's why earth resistance must be less than 5. If suppose fault current uh, coming from the equipments or whatever directly goes to earth without any obstacles. I have taken photo for your reference for understanding. There is a uh, plate earthing electrode, plate earthing electrode placed in the earth pit. There is a, a pipe earthing, pipe earthing uh, electrode is placed into the earth pit. There is a uh, charcoal and salt is present uh, for increasing the conductivity of the cell. Finally, you can find this type of uh, picture nearby your surrounding. This is a earth chamber, earth electrode wire here. Uh, inside there is an earth electrode present. Chamber is for uh, maintenance purpose. You can draw like this diagram also, plate earthing and then pipe earthing diagrams. If you want, you can copy this uh, pipe earthing and uh, for plate earthing, similar it will be there, only dimension is different, 80% uh, is the same, working and uh, uh, placing everything, okay? Next, we will see earth leakage circuit breaker. Circuit breaker which break the circuit when fault occurs or uh, over current occurs, uh, over voltage occurs, right? Earth leakage will be there if there is any leakage in the load, for example, uh, domestic appliances or electrical equipment, so the earth leakage circuit breaker will operate, right? So there is a circuit breaker present here, this is a chamber and uh, supply is given three phase, okay? 
and these are the contacts okay these are the contacts initially close position initially operating close position if suppose fault occurs if suppose leakage occurs automatically this relay will sense uh, that uh, uh, fault as well as uh, leakage send the signal to the circuit breaker automatically this contact will open this plunger will be the right uh, this plunger will open this side so uh, it remove the uh, fault uh, condition also it shut down the power supply to the load and avoids the more damage to the uh, electrical equipment right Next, there is a residual current circuit breaker. Circuit breaker uh, definitely breaks the circuit when uh, current exceeds the limit or uh, current reaches some limit. Residual current will be there before the load, right? Before the load, uh, they are placing CT. CT is for to measure high current. Suppose here part occurs. So, current reaches the limit. Suppose normal working condition is 20 amps. If it is uh, 40 amps occurs, that will sense by CT. Send the signal to the relay. Relay will send the signal to the circuit breaker. This contact will open. Initially, close position. And after that, this contact will open and it will avoid the more damage to the load and more damage to the electrical power system uh, uh, components. This is the residual current circuit breaker working.